Hi all, how's everyone doing? I know it's been a while. I haven't made videos from like last seven to eight months, but here I am. Uh, I'm starting consistency again on YouTube. So in this video, we are going to talk about top five IT skills in 2024. The reason behind making this video was, you know, looking at current market trends and also looking at like how currently market is becoming tough, especially because of recession and currently like so many layoffs are happening from like past two, three years. So that's why I wanted to make this video where I wanted to personalize, uh, where I wanted to combine my personal experience and also wanted to combine the market trends to talk about top five IT skills in 2024, which can set you apart from the crowd and which can also make you at top 10 percentage. If you know about these skills or if you're mastered at one of these skills, you can definitely crack any company. You can definitely uh, go to any tech company or startup company, right? So uh, also just to be clear, you don't have to, you know, master all these skills, which I'm going to talk about in this video. You can just master any one skill out of these, which I'm going to talk about in this video so that you are ready to get a job. And also you are, you know, ahead of the crowd, right? Because see why recession is happening. The main reason behind that is because supply is increasing and demand is getting less. Why supply is increasing? Because uh, people are, you know, following the crowd. By following the crowd, I mean they are learning those things which where already there's too much supply, right? You know, everyone's going to Mern stack, mean stack. And the thing is, everyone's doing the same thing. And that's why there's more supply and demand is less. That's why recessions are happening and layoffs are happening. So that's why I wanted to talk about a top five IT skills. And basically those skills which you, you know, basically do that, you will be ahead of the crowd and you will be able to get jobs easily than the other people, right? So let's start. So the first ID skill which I'm going to talk about is artificial intelligence. We all are surrounded with artificial intelligence. You must be using your phones. In phones, you have virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa. All these are artificial intelligences. And in simple language, if I talk about artificial intelligence, it's just intelligence system or agents which helps ease human tasks, right? So there are lots of human tasks which you know we used to do manually earlier, but now with the help of AI, artificial intelligence, we can do those tasks with just you know a single prompt or single instruction which we can give to artificial intelligence, and they can just do it, you know, within just a seconds, within just minutes, right? And there are lots of examples. I already gave one example: virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, which you use, you know, in your day-to-day -day activities. And there are recommendation systems like in Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, you guys must have seen like sometimes you watch any video and similar to that video, you know, Netflix suggests that, okay, you can also watch this video. You can also watch this video. Basically, it gives you suggestions that, hey, you can watch this video. So all these are AI related. So, you know, in AI is working internally at the back end, you know, analyzing your stats, what you're watching, you know, your watch time, your watch are everything it's analyzing and it's suggesting content according to that particular process references right and then self-driving cars healthcare chatbots you know chat gpt cloud ai v0 dev i guess most of you have heard about it and most of you guys might have used it as well so all these chatbots are really you know interesting and exciting you can just you know build projects you can do research you know by you know chatting with these bots so those are really cool right and i'm gonna share some of the interesting or exciting resources as well with you guys so that you can learn more about ai so this is a very good resource which i've shared uh, okay uh before that i forward that you know whatever i'm reading right now it's a blog which i've written i'm also going to share it on hash node so you guys can check it out as well if you don't want to watch this video you can just check out this blog right uh, it's your choice so whatever i'm going to explain in this video all will be written in this blog as well right so here's one of the like beautiful resource that I've shared. It's a GitHub repository. You can uh, like open it. And here you can see we have free artificial intelligence resources. Yeah, it is. It's made by someone else. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, Said Ahmed. Yeah, I don't know the exact name, but yeah, he's made a very good uh, GitHub repository. You can check it out. It has lots of resources from where you can learn artificial intelligence free. You know without you know spending any money so yeah these resources all are very good apart from that i have shared some other resources as well like this is one of the you know good website where you can uh learn ai related stuff you know it has various courses like ai python for beginners uh chat gpt prompt engineering for developers generative ai for everyone so yeah it has lots of good resources and good courses which you can uh, check out and be expert or be good in ai right so you know as you see like ai is literally booming right now 
to show you one proof as well i'm going to go to you know y combinator website uh, you can check out this website uh, in this website what happens is every year in you know, new startups when they comes they apply to this yc list they get listed here uh, you know they get even funding as well from you know yc investors so that's really good you can check out here you know see, uh, season 24 sorry summer 24 and winter 24 batch and around you can see 500 plus companies who have registered for you know 2024 so in among those startups you can see like around 145 plus are artificial intelligence so you can see like every startup or every company which is currently now uh, you know working on artificial intelligence right now uh, in this list as well you can see uh, this standard data it's working something on automating manufacturing processes using ai and then we have cairo health the ai health care workforce and then we have soma lab ai based simulation medicine company right so every startup you will see here which is currently you know listed here on y combinator are working on something ai related so if you know about ai a lot or if you are very good at ai you can easily apply at these startups and get jobs easily i believe and also most of these startups might be remote so if you are interested in remote remotely working you can definitely check out these companies you can definitely you know apply to these if you're really good at ai you can you know you can just click on any of these companies you can read what they are actually doing you know if they have any jobs they will be listed here if they don't have any jobs you can also directly reach out to their ceo cto and you know you can apply so yeah, the main motive of this video was, you know, to explain about top five skills along with some resources as well. And also so that uh, I will tell you like how you can also apply to these companies as well. So Y Combinator is a really good platform from where you can, you know, check out some of these startups. You can check out uh, what they're actually doing. You know, you can also apply for jobs as well. So yeah, that's really great. Now, this was all about AI. Now let's move forward to our next concept or next skill which is cloud computing and devops it's also uh, you know booming right now and it's really very important now from my personal experience i would say in startups uh, you won't see much of the devops work the reason behind is that startups uh, who are in early stage they mostly focus on building stuff as fast as possible so they don't focus much on you know devops and cloud computing they focus more on building new features new stuff you know as fast as possible and like later on when they try you know when they used to get more customers when they are getting more you know users then they try to focus more on devops because we need to make our product more scalable as well so to make our product more scalable devops come to picture and also to make our development pipeline easier we focus on devops more and about cloud computing it's really important if you want to save cost so in cloud computing what happens is you store your code you store your deployment pipeline on a cloud platform and basically you don't have to purchase any physical infrastructure that's why cloud computing uh, comes into picture and it saves a lot of cost to developers to companies where they can just host the infrastructure on cloud uh, they can you know do a lot of scalable operations they can launch any services on cloud and their website or their platform whatever they have built is you know fully scalable in just a minute right so all these things are uh, explained here as well like you know, it increases efficiency, scalability, cost savings, etc., etc. Right? Uh, I've shared some resources as well. You guys can check it out. Uh, this is uh, one of the good resources: AWS training and certification, which will explain you all the cloud skills and things that you need to get started with it. And then we have Google Cloud training as well. It's also a good resource. You can check it out. You know, you can just start your training from here. Right? And all of these are free. That's great. Right? Uh, let's talk about the third skill, which is really important right now is full stack development. Yeah. So I guess a lot of you might be working already uh, in the full stack field, or you might be learning some of the skills, which comes into full stack, which is great. And this is very important. Uh, if I talk about from my personal experience, like, uh, startups, which are in very early stage or who are like greater than early stage, they focus more on full stack developer and they hire full stack developers more. The reason behind is they don't want to hire front end and back end separately. They want to hire full stack developers only, uh, you know, who will be able to do both the work front end and back end. So that's why uh, you will see that most of the startups are currently in the job posting. They hire for full stack developers, right? And 
you know all these things are explained here as well like full stack developers are versatile they can work on both front end and back end and it's cost effective and that's why most of the startups like i've worked in two startups and you know both these startups they focused on hiring uh, full stack developers more the reason behind is obviously cost effective and they don't they don't they don't want to hire separate engineers that's why they just they just will be hiring one software engineer who will be able to do both front end and back end right and some of the tech stack examples in full stack is mern stack mean stack uh, lamp stack django stack uh, from my personal experience i would say mern stack is very popular and this stack is also very popular where python django postgres sql comes in uh, mean stack i would say it's becoming very rare the reason behind is that you would see that most of the old companies or most of the old startups which are there uh, those are currently only using mean stack but the new startups which are coming the new companies which are coming right now they are mostly using mern stack and django stack right and similarly uh, like these two stacks like i haven't heard much about uh, like most of the old companies you would see that their code base is still you know using this but the new code base of the new companies of the new startup they are currently using mern stack and django stack only so you guys can focus on mern stack or django stack like uh, whichever uh, seems interesting or exciting to you you can just master that particular stack right and some of the resources i've shared in this blog uh, i'm also going to share all these resources in youtube video description in the you know description box in the youtube video so you, you guys can check out that as well now finally not finally it's the second last uh, skill which is data science and analytics and it's really it's also very important if you master this uh, you will be able to, uh, you know, get the jobs which are asking uh, developers who are really good at data science and analytics, right? And some of the examples I've shared here, like, uh, let's say we have a retail company and they want to analyze customer purchase data to determine which products are most popular. So that's where data analytics and data visualization comes in. So in data science and visualization or analytics, whatever you want to say it, basically, you know, you create, you know, these different kind of charts or analytics tools, which helps companies to determine uh, what exactly customers want. And according to that particular insights on analytics, customers, sorry, companies, they make changes in their products, they make changes in their pipeline so that they are able to cater more customers and they're able to improve their features more. So that's where these analytics and uh, these uh, decision making uh, visualization comes into picture. And if you're really good at it, yeah, like companies would be really happy to hire you because these are very important. Although in startups, I wouldn't say uh, these skills are much required, but you know, startups who are at like a very later stage, who are at let's say series B or series C, they might require uh, uh, these developers or these professionals who are really good at data science and analytics, I believe, according to the current trend I am saying, right? And uh, some of the popular data science tools are like Python, R, Jupyter Notebooks, Pandas, TensorFlow. So you guys can check out all these technologies and even want to learn, you can learn. So all these are, uh, you know, all these comes into like data science, comes under data science and uh, visualization thing. Yeah, resources as well, like Coursera, Kegel, EDX, all these websites, they have good amount of resources. They have good amount of courses from where you can learn all these things. And if you don't want to check out these uh, websites, you can definitely check out YouTube. It's filled with all these courses. And then lastly, uh, we have cybersecurity. Now, all of you know about cybersecurity, like there are lots of uh, security threats, which you might be aware about, like phishing, malware, ransomware, like, uh, at some point you might have you know experienced malware or ransomware when you're visiting any website in your laptop you know right so all these kind of things happen to basically uh, steal your sensitive information and we don't want that right because most of the big companies especially let's talk about facebook or let's talk about google or any startup company if they want you know more security in their systems definitely they would hire uh, developers or professionals who are very good at cyber security right because they don't want uh, their data to be stolen by anyone right so that's where cyber security developers comes into picture and if you're really good at cyber security people would be very happy to hire you especially in their companies if they want more security right and obviously why it's important because companies want to protect their sensitive data companies want to prevent financial loss company want to maintain business continuity company wants to build trust with the customers right so all these things come to picture when companies decide to have a cyber security importance right and there are lots of resources for learning cyber security coursera cybrary edx all these websites provide tons of courses tons of resources from where you can learn cyber security 
right so in conclusion i would say like landscape this tech landscape is rapidly evolving and you have to stay ahead of the curve you have to stay ahead of the crowd uh, the reason behind obviously which i've talked in the beginning as well recession layoffs all these things are happening and market is becoming really tough and you want if you want to stay really ahead of the curve these skills are very important and if you're really good at any one of these skills i don't say like i wouldn't say you know master all these skills which i talked about but at least master one skill which you're interested and excited you know among these top five skills at least master any one skill and be good at it so if you're good at any one of these skills uh, i can assure you you will be able to get job easily in this tough market as well right so i hope you enjoy this video and you learn something new from this video if you did do like the video do subscribe to the channel thank you all this was like a really amazing uh, concept that i thought for this video and i hope you enjoy this video thanks